I'm just like moseying along. I'm over here like dancing to the music. And then I looked up and I was like, I forgot to hit record. So I hit record and then I didn't hit record like I thought. And then I'm like dancing again. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's still not recording. I better like catch up. Hey everybody, my name is Lindsay. I am with Perfectly Pastry. If you don't know who Perfectly Pastry is, we are a local bakery in Waterloo, Illinois. How is everybody doing? If you're watching me live, use a heart. Let me know you're watching me live. If you're watching me on replay, use hashtag replay. Let me know you caught me on replay. And if this is the first time you've ever caught me live, use a heart. Let me know. Hey, it is the first time I've actually ever caught you live. I appreciate all of you guys, whether you're watching me live or on, on replay. Thank you so much for hopping on. Um, so as you guys know, I try to go live every single week on our Facebook page and I did not get to go live last week. Um, I had some things I had to do. I had some trainings and stuff I had to do and I did not get to go live. Sorry about that. And I did not prepare ahead of time and record a video. So yes, my bad. I am very sorry about that guys, but I am back this week and I am saying Hey to all of you. How are you doing? Um, so I don't have a whole lot that I thought I'd go over today. Um, you know, you think like since I was gone for a week, like I'd have a whole lot to say, but mm, I don't. It's okay. It happens sometimes, right? Um, so I did want to let everybody know that we do have peach cobbler cheesecake in the shop this week. My sister has been begging my mom for a very long time to roll out peach cobbler cheesecake. And so it is officially rolled out and it is going to be in the shop this week. So um, stop by, try that, and definitely give my sister your feedback because she is really excited to have it in the shop. It's like the thing she's wanted for a very, very long time. Um, I am going to put my little thing on. Look at that. Look at me. Look at me remembering to do something today. Woohoo. Yay me. Um, all right. So today I thought I would let you guys know about the peach color cheesecake. And then I thought I would give you a heads up that the Valentine's day menu is officially rolled out. We did work on it and we got it all ready for you guys. Um, and so I designed a cute little menu. It is on our website. I'll also have the link to it in our descriptions. But I thought I'd go over some of the things that we're going to have. Um, so we're going to have chocolate-covered strawberries. Uh, this year, we're going to do regular chocolate-covered strawberries. And we are going to offer keto chocolate strawberries. So if you're looking for something, then you know that you have somebody who is on um, a diet. You know, maybe want to do a low-carb diet, sugar-free diet, that sort of thing. We will have the keto-friendly chocolate-covered strawberries along with our regular chocolate-covered strawberries. Um, the chocolate-covered strawberries are going to be variety packs. They're going to be sold in uh, 12 or 6 variety packs. Um, and then closer to Valentine's Day, you'll be able to pick up pick up individual ones in the shop as well. So we'll have some grab-and-go in the shop. Um, but we are open for pre-orders. It's really important that we get the pre-orders because the long stem strawberries are very hard to get a hold of. And so we want to make sure that everybody who wants one actually gets one. So definitely let us know if you want to go ahead and pre-order them so that we can make sure that we have your order ready for Valentine's Day. Like I said, we are going to have some extra singles and um, half dozens and dozens available in the shop. But if you want to secure yours, go ahead and place that pre-order. You can call us, email us, you can message us on social media. We will definitely get you your order reserved for a Valentine's Day pickup. Uh, Valentine's Day is usually on a, um, no, not usually. So Valentine's Day this year is on a Sunday and we are actually I'm sorry, on a Monday, and we're actually closed on Mondays. Um, so we are going to have some special hours that we're going to be announcing closer to Valentine's Day so that you can pick up your treats in time for Valentine's Day. Um, we're working on the details of the exact hours that we're going to be open and if we're going to be open both uh, Sunday and Monday. Um, I know that, you know, my sister, my mom, and I have been talking, and I think we're going to have one of us, one one of us, let's be real, I'm not going to be in Waterloo at the time. If you don't know this, like, I actually live in Florida. My mom and my sister live in Waterloo, and together we all run Perfectly Pastry. My sister runs the shop. My mom does all the baking, and then I do all the behind-the-scenes stuff. So I actually won't be working the shop that day. I was home. It was back in um, Illinois and at the shop in December because my niece had to have surgery. So I was in charge of taking care of the shop while my sister took care of my niece. Um, and then I always come back in the summer. So if you guys are just kind of starting to follow us, you didn't know that about us. Yes, I actually live in Florida. My mom and my sister both live in Illinois. And then I come back in the summer and I spend all of July uh, in Illinois, <laughs> both seeing my husband's family and my family and working out at the shop. So it won't be me, but my sister and my mom are deciding who's going to take Sunday and who's going to take Monday so that you guys will be able to get your treats on time for Valentine's Day. So I will be announcing the days and the hours for you guys when we're a little bit closer and we lock down the actual hours that we're going to be open. Um, Let's see. So the other thing that we have are little pies. So we have three sizes of pie. We have our regular pies. 
and which are nine inch pies. And then you have our itty bitty cute petite pies. Oh my God. I love our petite pies. They are bite-sized pies. They literally, I don't know how else to explain it. They're bite-sized pies. I love them. They're called petite pies. So they're little two inch pies, but we also for Valentine's day do a strawberry and a cherry pie and they're five inch. So they're perfect to share with two people right? So you and your honey can share one, or if you just want to eat it yourself, eat it yourself. Like this girl's not going to say anything about it because I would totally do that. As a matter of fact, one time when, <laughs> at least I was pregnant. So I guess I'll use that as my excuse. I um, hid in my be- my closet in my bedroom eating brownies so that I didn't have to share with anybody else in my family. Shh, we're not going to tell people that. Yeah, totally did. Um, the other things that we're going to have on there are, um, you can get heart shaped, uh, sugar cookies that can have, uh, um, icing on them if you want for the holidays, along with a cookie cake. That is correct. We are rolling out cookie cake and you might be like, what is a cookie cake? It is exactly like you think it's a cookie in the shape of a cake with some icing on it. It is something that both my daughter and my sister's daughter was like, Nana, can you please make us cookie cakes for our birthday? Like, that's what we want. And it was so funny because they actually didn't tell us at the same time. Um, and they because we don't live by each other, they're not always talking. And they didn't even have this planned. One of them was like, this is what I want for the, my birthday. And then like two months later, the other one was like, this is what I want for my birthday. We're like, these are so funny. They're actually only three months apart. So they tend to have the same mind. I'm not going to lie. Um, so we do have cookie cakes and we're actually going to have those all year long. Um, but we do, we're going to roll them out for Valentine's day and then we're going to have little mini cookie cakes. So we got these super adorable heart shaped tins, like little, little tins. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. Um, so we're going to do little mini cookie cakes in those. And we have, I'm really excited about this. This is my special project that I've been working on and I am so excited we are going to have baking kits. Yes, we are going to have take and bake baking kits. I have been asked so many times, like, do you guys do classes? We are not currently doing classes, but our baking kits are the next best thing. So right now we actually have molten lava cake make and bakes. That's what I'm currently calling them. Hopefully I don't mess the name up. You guys know how I am. I like name it. And then I switch the name and my mom and my sister are always yelling at me like, girl, stop switching the names around. Okay. So currently I'm calling them make and bake. So you take them home, you're going to make them and you're going to bake them. And we're doing molten lava cakes. Um, if you don't, the molten lava cakes are a really rich chocolate cake. And then when you open them, they ooze chocolate in the middle. Yes. So yummy. Um, and so they are they seem super difficult and they look super fancy but i'm going to tell you they're really easy to make like so easy to make um and so you'll learn how to make them and honestly we give you a pack of four so you can make them for four people or if you're like me because i really don't like to share and i promise i won't eat them all you could do it for someone special for valentine's day so you could impress with your dessert and be like look how fancy i am with my dessert and then they're like oh i don't think you could ever do it again you'd be like oh, watch me because you know you have another set because we give you four and you only need two and then you'll be able to do it again right like absolutely so um we're really excited about that i have been like thinking about this idea for a while and trying to make it work and seeing how we're going to do it. Um, and then like I told you guys in my other life, I had been testing it with people. And as the non-baker, I came up, like I listened to my mom and I wrote out the instructions, but like I didn't do the instructions correctly. And the person was ta- that uh, tested it was like, I don't understand why I am whipping the flour and the sugar together for so long. And I was like, mm, that was for a supposed to be for the eggs. <laughs> so I did get the kinks worked out of it, but it was really funny. Like we were laughing so hard when we discovered, like, I didn't even have the instructions correct. I didn't obviously listen to my mom when it, when I started it. And then I was handwriting them down. So I must've like just been looking at the wrong one, but I got the kinks worked out for you guys and they are working great now. So I'm really excited to have those rolling out to you guys for Valentine's Day. So like I said, if you're like, oh, you know, we're going to be doing something at home. I'd really love to make something kind of fancy and like show off my skills. The molten lava cakes, 
They're really cool, really easy. Um, and it's definitely something that you can use to impress somebody. So those are going to be available for Valentine's Day. They are available currently for pre-order. Um, so you can get in contact with us and we can definitely get your order scheduled. Uh, so those are the items that we're going to be offering on our Valentine's specific menu. Again, if you need some of these items delivered, definitely reach out to us and we can get it scheduled for it to be delivered for you. Um, anyway, so yeah, you guys just give us a call. You can, like I said, follow or uh, message us on social media, send us an email, and we can definitely get that taken care of. All right, you guys, I am going to hop off of here. I'm going to let you guys have a wonderful rest of the week. I will see you guys again back here next week. If you're, oh, I know what I was going to tell you. All right, before I go into my whole spiel about following me, right? Because like, I almost sound like those YouTubers where I'm like, I ring that subscription bell. Too bad Facebook doesn't have one. Um, No. Okay. So you guys, I told you about the books that I wanted to read for the year, right? Like I went through all of them. I already read The Alchemist. It was really good. Um, The other one that I wanted to read was called The uh, Subtle Art of Not Giving an F. Okay, but there's actually a word. And um, I just want to let you guys like know, I am usually not a quitter with the book. Like, even if I find a book to be super boring, like I just read the book because I feel bad quitting on it. I don't know. It's just the thing. Um, I got three chapters in and I stopped reading the book. I was really bummed because I was really, really looking forward to the book based on the title. And I know you can't judge a book by the title. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I thought it was going to be more about learning to like let go and not hold on to everything and like learning to go with the flow and those sorts of things. And the author starts to go down that path and then he like backtracks and then he'll start to go down that path again. And then he backtracks. Right. And so it's like all over the place. So I was sticking to like sticking through it. Like I'm like, all right, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, but then when I got done with chapter two, I don't even think I fully finished all of chapter three because I, I just couldn't get past the end of chapter two. So in chapter two, he talks about how every, every action has an opposite or equal action, right? Like you can't, that was kind of weird. Okay. So you can't appreciate the good without having the bad, right? Like you can't appreciate what you have until you lose it, those sorts of things. And um, it's a personal journey of mine, so I'm going to get a little personal on you guys. Sorry. Um, I've spent a lot of my life being like, oh, I can't have something good because if I have something good, something bad is going to happen. Okay. Obviously, there's a lot of trauma behind that. Shh, I get it. Okay. We don't need to break it down. <laughs> I get that. Okay. Okay. And I have told you guys, like, I've been working a lot on self-development. And so, like, over the past year, I've really worked hard about not waiting for the other shoe to drop. Like, doing the things I want to do because I want to do them and not worrying or not giving an F, right, about the shoe dropping on the other side. And he was like, you can't have the good if you don't have the bad first. And I was just like, really? Like, you're now, like, taking me back. Like, I took a whole year working on, like, letting go and not waiting for the other shoe to drop. Like, for example, when we bought our house, I kept telling my husband, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. We're never going to buy our house. It's not going to work. And my husband's like, dude, why? You are so negative. And I'm like, it's fine. It's fine. And I always thought in my head, if I didn't want it, by the way, my dad does this. So I get this from him. If I didn't want it bad enough, I couldn't be disappointed when I didn't get it. Right? Like there's that whole like weird mindset about that. And so I just, I've spent a lot of my life, a lot of my life being like, I don't want to be happy because if I'm happy, somebody's going to come take it away. I don't want that because something's going to happen to it. And it's a really weird mindset, right? And I've spent a lot of time getting out of that mindset. So when I got to that chapter and he was just like, I mean, like drilling that point in, like it can't be good all the time. You have to have bad. I lost it. Now, don't get me wrong. I think what he was trying to get is you have to acknowledge the bad to understand the good. You are, everything's not always going to be perfect, but a lot comes out of those tougher times. You learn a lot during those tougher times, but it doesn't have to be bad. Everything doesn't always have to be bad for you to be good. You don't have to struggle to be able to get anywhere. You can just do like you can and I have learned that and I'm just not willing to go back to that weird mindset that I had. And it really like messed with me. I was so bummed. So my recommendation, don't read the book. So um, you're more than welcome to be like, what is she talking about? This girl is crazy. I'm going to read the book anyways. And now I got to see what she's talking about. Do it. 
I would love to sit and chat with your with you about it. Like I just I just couldn't do it. So I stopped reading it and now I am reading, I didn't bring my book over here. Now I'm reading, um, start with why, which I've actually heard from a lot of people, you know, they tell you in business, like you need to know what your why is your purpose and everything you need to do re- needs to go back to your why. Like, why are you doing it? Why should people care? Why would people want to follow you? Why do they care about your business? Why do they want to invest time? Why do they want to invest their money? Like those sorts of things. Um, and so that's the book that I'm reading now. I like it a lot better. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, so if you're like, oh, okay, I won't read the other one, then I would start with what is it called? Start with why. <laughs> That's what it's called. Um, but anyways, all right. So now let's get to this. If you guys are watching me and following me, are watching me live on Facebook, you should be liking and following us on Facebook. If Facebook's not your jam, I totally get that. Then you should be watching us and following us on other social media. We are on all the other social media. Facebook is the only one that we are at Perfectly Pastry Bakery. All the other guys are at Perfectly Pastry. Yes, it is a thing. If you were ever curious why that's at, go watch some of my earlier lives. I tell you all the time how I messed that up, you guys, like for real. All right, you guys, I'm going to hop off of here. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week, and we love to see you guys in the shop. I know you guys are cold because it is cold here in Florida. I have been freezing. I won't tell you what the temperature is because I know that you guys are like, girl, that's not even cold. But let's just say I was really cold this morning, and my toesies were cold in my flip-flops. <laughs> That's what happened to me. It is a struggle for real. (laughs) All right, you guys. I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.